Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to Maths Online. Now, in this video, I'll be helping you to get started with things quite quickly. Now, firstly, to log in, we go to the top here and we choose Parent Login. Now, a couple of basic options here. You can either enter your email and password, then click Sign In, or you can choose to sign in with Google, and that links your Google account with your Maths Online account, and it'll automatically log you in from here on. Now, when you first log in as a parent, you'll be taken to this home page here, or Parent Centre. And the first thing you might notice is this bright red banner here, telling us to click here to add a student. Well, we want to get our kids working quickly, so we might actually start off by having a quick look at that. Now, to add a student, it's as simple as clicking this plus icon here. And then this pop-up appears here. And it's as simple as entering your kid's name into the relevant boxes here. So let's see, my son's name, Marcus, I'll enter those details in. Once we've put his name in, we click Generate Unique Username and Password. So we can see Marcus's username here, password here, and he'll use them any time he logs into Maths Online. Now it's important at this stage just to take a few moments to go over with your kids ways that they can securely save these details. Maybe show them how they can log in using Google Sign-In or something similar. Because once we leave this page here, this password becomes encrypted. And we won't be able to access that again. Now if we move down just a little bit further, we can see there that pass grade. Now by default that's set to 80. We can change that if we want to, but we'll just leave that as is for the moment. Now before we leave, make sure we move over here and click Save Changes. Now back here on the home page, we can see that Marcus is all registered. Obviously there's no logins at this stage, we've only just registered him. And if we have any more students that we want to register, we simply click Add Student again, add their details and then click Save Changes. Now we're going to take a few moments to have a look over this parent centre here. In order to do that a bit more effectively though, what we're going to do is jump forward in time a little bit. So here we are a little bit further down the track now. And if we have a look over here at the student section, you can see that we've got our kids registered and they've been working on their maths for a while now. Now we can access some basic information in this section. We can see their most recent logins, the number of lessons completed, and see the overall grade for their work. Now we're going to move over to the left here. We've got three tabs down the bottom. This one lets us see their most recent activity on the site, so lessons completed, results, etc. We can click on this tab to get copies of any awards that our kids have received. And over here, we can get access to any weekly reports that we've subscribed to. Now, if you didn't sign up for these reports when you're registered, I'd really recommend that you do this. These are a great way of keeping in touch with your kids' work, checking how they're going with completing work, lesson results, and so on. Now, I'd strongly recommend that you sign up for these, and it's a really easy thing to change if you haven't done that. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So all we need to do is go over here to the Parents section. Now you can see down here, I've already got weekly progress reports ticked, so I'm already receiving them. But if you haven't got that checked, all you need to do is move over here and click this Edit button. And then this pop-up appears. Now we can see down the bottom here, these two checkboxes. I've got both of them ticked. Well, this first one here, that's the one I was talking about, weekly progress report. So make sure that you've got that one ticked. And you can also choose to receive any awards and certificates each week if you'd like to. Now just remember, before you leave this box, always move over here and click Save Changes. Now back here on our home page, moving up a little bit further, we've got the Latest Tasks section here. And that lets us see any of the most recent tasks that we've set for our kids. But if we move to the top, this Tasks tab, we can get some more detailed information. Let's click on that. So you can see here we've got a list of the most recent tasks that we've set for our kids. Now if it's further down on in the year and you want to see any older tasks, you can uncheck that tab there. That'll give you a list of any tasks set earlier in the year. Or we can also uncheck this one here, Hide Weekly Revision Tasks. And this lets us see any of the weekly revision sheets that we've set for our student. Now on this page here, you're able to edit delete or share any of the tasks that you've set. Now moving back to the top, we'll click on this Question Bank Wizard tab next. Now there's another video where we go through these question banks in detail, 
But on this page, you can add new question banks, or you can edit or delete existing question banks. Now, moving over to our Tools tab, here we're able to browse through any of the lessons available on Maths Online. Now, there's a lot of them, so we're able to sort these out. We can filter them down by year, by stream, and then lastly, by topic. Now, if we have a look at the lessons available here, we click on any one of these lessons. And moving down the bottom, and you can see that we can click on a link to the video tutorial for the lesson. We can also look at any of the online or interactive questions for this lesson. And if there is a worksheet for the lesson, we can get access to the worksheet and its solutions. Now, we've also got access here to the page summary for the lesson, in case you want to print that out. Now, underneath that, this is something parents are going to love, I think. Where there's a worksheet for the lesson, this gives us a copy of the answers to that entire worksheet. Really handy as you go into some of the higher year levels and the work becomes a little bit more difficult. Now, we've also got this web address, this link down the bottom here. Well, that gives us direct access to this particular lesson. Now, that's great if you want to share work with students through social media, email, or some educational platform. Now, moving up, we can click on the Export Data tab, and this gives us access to a lot of information in CSV form. So, looking at our student usage and performance, their most recent activity, and the entire Maths Online curriculum. Now, being able to access that through CSV is a great way of putting that information into a spreadsheet. So that helps if you want to do further analysis of your kids' results or if you want to organise your curriculum. Now, we've got the NAPLAN content button here. And on this page, we're able to access practice questions and practice papers for those NAPLAN tests set in Year 3, 5, 7 and 9. Fantastic help to help your kids prepare for those numeracy tests. Now, moving back up, we're going to click on the Home tab again. Now, something up the top here I think you're going to love. This button here, Switch to Student View. Now, this allows us to see the site exactly as our kids will see it. So we can see the different courses available over here, and we're able to choose them by year level. And then we're able to look at the different strands and the different topics available within them. Now, we've then got our individual lessons, and also within each topic, We've got access to these three diagnostic tests here. And they're a fantastic way of seeing if there's any particular areas that your kids are struggling with within a topic. Now, if you want your kids to do any work at this stage, just make sure, get them to go to the top here and click Sign Out, and then log back in using their details. Otherwise, they're going to be ending up doing the work under your name. Now, let's go back over here and switch back to Parent View. And if you want to get some more detailed information about how your kids are going with their work, down here in the student section, for any of your kids, if you click on this View Profile button, this gives us access to a whole host of information. Over here on the Reports tab, three different reports available. A really detailed report, a briefer summary report, or a report that covers just the tasks that we've set for our kids. We can look at their individual results in lessons, diagnostic tests and question banks. We can get copies of any awards that they've received, see how they're going in any of the speed skills activities, check their usage history, or how they're going in any of the weekly revision tabs. Now on this export tab, we can also download a range of information and reports in spreadsheet form. Well, that's a pretty quick introduction there, just to help you get started with things as quickly as you can. You'll find that there's other videos available where we go through things like adding tasks and accessing some of the more detailed reports and so on. Now, I'd really recommend that you watch those videos so you can get the maximum possible benefit out of using Maths Online. Now, the last thing that I will say just before you finish up, any time you leave the site, go to the top here and click this Sign Out button. It just gives you a secure way of logging out.